Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious vanilla cupcakes with Swiss meringue buttercream. This frosting is absolutely beautiful and it's perfect for people who don't like overly sweet desserts. Swiss meringue buttercream is creamy and light like a cloud. Come check out how I make these scrumptious cupcakes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Let's begin by making the cupcakes. Sift together the flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt in a bowl and set it aside. With an electric mixer, cream the butter at medium speed for about one minute. Add the sugar and cream for another one to two minutes until creamy and fluffy. Add the eggs one at a time, mixing each egg until combined before adding the next. Then add the vanilla extract and mix. Now we're going to add half of the milk and mix to combine. Now add half of the flour mixture and mix. Add the rest of the milk and mix. Finally, add the last bit of flour. I'm going to beat with the mixer briefly and then I'm going to finish by mixing with a spatula. So this way we're not going to end up over mixing the dry ingredients with the batter, which can make for tough or dry cupcakes later. Now pour the batter evenly onto the cupcake tins, filling about two thirds of the way. Bake in the preheated 350 Fahrenheit oven for about 18 minutes. Now let's make the Swiss meringue buttercream. We're going to separate the egg whites from the yolks and here's a quick tip. When you're doing this, don't crack the eggs right in the bowl that you're going to use. Crack one egg at a time in a smaller bowl and then transfer it to the larger bowl. And here's the reason why. When I was cracking this egg, I got some yolk in the egg whites and you absolutely don't want that to happen. Your meringue is not going to work out if there's any traces of egg yolks in it. And not just egg yolks, the same goes for grease or water particles. Now that we have our eggs separated, we're also going to slice the butter. We need to make sure that the butter is at the perfect temperature. It needs to be at room temperature. If the butter is too soft, it's not going to work because the buttercream won't come together. It's going to be runny and soupy. And if the butter is still chilled, even if it's slightly, it's going to form small lumps of butter in the buttercream and you won't be able to achieve a smooth frosting. Now let's place a bowl with the egg whites over a pan with barely simmering water to form a double boiler. Then let's add the sugar and whisk over the double boiler until this mixture achieves 140 Fahrenheit. Now I'm transferring the syrup to the bowl of an electric mixer. And now we're going to whip the meringue with the whisk attachment at medium high speed until stiff peaks form. This can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes, it depends on the mixer. For example, if you're using a hand mixer, it might take a little bit longer. But with a KitchenAid at a medium high speed, it can take about 5 minutes. Anyway, the meringue should be glossy and white and the peak should be shooting straight up. When the meringue is at this perfect consistency with the stiff peaks, we can start to add the butter. Make sure that the meringue is stiff. Now let's add one slab of butter at a time, waiting a few seconds before adding the next one to give it a chance to incorporate.
continue to whip until the buttercream looks super fluffy and creamy and all the butter has been incorporated. This also can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes or even 15 minutes, it depends on your mixer. And it also depends on the temperature of the butter and on how well the meringue has been whipped. When the frosting is done, it should be very thick, creamy, looking just like this. Now we're going to add the vanilla. Here I'm using vanilla bean paste. You can just use vanilla extract if you want. And mix to combine. And then we're going to transfer the frosting to a piping bag fitted with the tip of your choice. I'm using a 1M star tip. Now we're going to pipe the frosting on top of the cupcakes. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. For the full recipe and instructions, go to paisantacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!